Hey everyone, this is Kinsei Reaction and welcome back to my live reaction on Pokemon Horizon and this will be episode 43. Okay, I am pretty excited for this episode because we're finally getting into the main stuff that we're talking about, something that is involved with the explore. Unlike a few episodes back that we it's all like filler episodes, right? But you know, a few fillers that are definitely very good, so I'm not gonna complain that much, but it's filler we're talking about. And also just want to mention the latest news for the Pokemon Horizon anime because they just released a new poster here we go. Look at this. I'm just going to be putting it right here. Oh my gosh. This poster looks amazing. I want to go deep talk about this this episode after my reaction to the 43 episodes of Pokemon Horizon. So make sure you guys also watch the comment part as well at the end of this reaction. This just looks so amazing. Look, just look at Rico, Roy, and Dot. They're holding terrestrialized orb and they're wearing uniforms to academy the, the in Paldea. This is just amazing. And not to mention the gym leader, the League 4, and also Nimona is like over there. So everything it's just like really deserve to go analyze so yeah i'm gonna be doing that after the comments uh, stuff and also yeah the comment stuff and the reaction but anyways let's just focus on what are we actually gonna, gonna, gonna get but quickly just going over what last episode is it's just amazing the palafin also people are saying that it's kind of like my hero academia vibe like seeing Loud bread, like you know, just like transform to the to, to the mighty G. Oh my God, yeah, yeah, that's definitely all my stuff. So yeah, it was just amazing episode last week, oh, and today we're getting something serious. So it's definitely going to be more epic and looking forward for sure. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started on our reaction. I just cannot wait. <coughs> okay. Before I get to some of my live reaction, I want to first enjoy all of my live reaction videos. Please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell for not missing my future live reaction. And also don't forget to share this video and content as well. Alright, well, without further ado, let's get started with uh, Pokemon Horizon episode 43. We'll begin in 3, 2, 1, and let's go! Okay... So yes, they're in the Paldea region already. You know, last episode I was assuming that they're close to Paldea, but it seems that they're already in Paldea. Yeah, I'm just really yeah, I did not miss that photo with the mighty G. Oh my gosh, just wanna do that pose again. I cannot wait to, for them to actually find out like uh Laubro is actually like Mighty G, like in the future. Mm, you guys are going sh shopping, getting supplies and stuff. Cool, cool, cool. A lineup, it, it seems. Oh, Freed and Roy, okay. What, Diglett, um, Manju? Not ordinary. <laughs> uh Wigglet. Yeah. It's not Diglet, it's Wigglet. It's different. Two different species. I mean the flavor that definitely has to be different, so I respect that. Oh gosh. Well, I mean, they're already lighting up. Just, just, yeah, just quickly and go. Ah, uh, Free Coco is already gone. Look at those. Yeah. Right. That's called wasting money. Alright, here we go. You guys, it's been such a long time. 
Um, Songo and um, Onyx, right? I think that's your name. I, 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 I'm sorry. In the, in the last episode preview, I didn't get their names. And Garganago and uh, and the and the Glade. Wait, Glady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, like I mentioned, you're wearing the like the Terrasto cap, which is just amazing. You are definitely also like a collection, huh? A collector. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, even though you guys are a dark organization, she is still a kid, right? <laughs> you know, and also, yeah, her her voice actor for Songo is actually Pikachu, like Otani san. So, yeah, pretty accurate. I really like that. You know, I really like some bad attitude kind of Otani uh, uh, voice. So, it's it's very fresh. It's very fresh. And especially like recently I've been playing like Persona 5, so like Morgana's voice is also her. So, yeah, I've been so used to her voice now. Just saying. All right, all right, all right. Let's get it. This episode, something has to be like, we're definitely getting a battle, so. Mm -hmm. I wonder what are the explorers trying to do here? Cause they actually managed to build a tower. They have to be up to something, right? And also it, it, it can definitely be Rayquaza related. So very excited to figure all of those, uh, those out. Mm -hmm. All right. A challenge from the explorers. Sounds very epic. Hmm. What's going on? <coughs> and there's a wiglet. Right. Uh, I'm sorry, did he hurt his back or something? Cause he's like, he's like this. <laughs> ah, Roy really figured it out. Ah, yeah, even the old man. Yeah. Oh, the supplies. Ah, yo, some healings. Yeah. I mean, that cures like status, like, like, like changes, so. Mm, manager. Oh, oh, that's the, yes, that's the Manju. Our exclusive Wiglet uh, uh, Manju. Oh. We also got from the Kalos re region, the white ch ch chocolate from the Kalos re region. Ooh, we're getting, we're getting some advertising for the Kalos re region. Yeah, that definitely like Pokemon Legend AZ, like, uh, ZA, right? Cannot wait, cannot wait. L limited surprise. Hmm. Yeah, we were going we're going to go to your shop and go buy it, so we just actually got it. And that's how Wiggly actually travels on on the ground. Oh wow, that is like those small puddles, like stuff, like moving puddles is like. Uh 
Ah, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I thought you should feed your uh, Pokemon. <laughs> Look at everyone. That mouse holes are just like chilling right, right in the group. And also, let's not forget, Terrapagos is, is just here, a legendary Pokemon's on your ship. Ah! <laughs> now that I think, like, the Tinker Tink is just really cute. I just cannot wait for the day that he evolves. <laughs> like, yeah, this is pretty funny. When I saw the preview, Sango is like going by. So, by the Manju. Uh. Ah. Ah, she didn't count the Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna. Yeah, she's definitely like a complain type. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, that's how they met. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, she yeah her attitude like I expected that she is such a whiny girl, right? Oh, ooh, we got some peach berries. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, you were so epic last episode, dude. I cannot wait to see that again. I, I and I also want to see your sharpedos. Again, like frequently, so please. Mm -hmm. Ah, what? Well. Wait, Fred Coco's missing again. Huh? A letter? You stole something very important. The Snorlax rock? There's there, there's Snorlax rock. Oh my god, that that does look like Snorlax. Is this like another advertising for Pokemon Sleep? <laughs> Cause like the whole grass area and and the Snorlax. Wow. They're doing pretty much like pretty well with these advertising. If you actually pay attention to uh, to the episodes, it's pretty amazing. Oh, here we go. We're gonna get the fight. We're, we're gonna we're gonna get the fight. What's going on? Come on. Uh What? I'm sorry, she is just on another level of ridiculousness. Yeah, they 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 got it. You're right. Oh. Oh, now she's now she's also pissed that like you opened it, right? 
See, I mean, as a collector, like we don't, we don't really, we kind of mind that you opened it. Limited items, yeah. But I'm sorry, it's all Songo's fault. I'm sorry, I'm on Rico and Roy, and Roy's side totally. Yeah, she's pissed at no reason. Oh, you know, every time I saw that, it's like really, really cool. The technology is really advanced. They can change their uniform with the with like with the watch. Wow. Call Freed. All uh, right, you have the advantage. I mean, oh, here we go, another one. Gaganago uh, is here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you guys already battled it once, right? On it. I mean, I have to say, that is a very good Pokemon. I, I actually put Garganago on my team for a, for a while. Mm. It's two against two. Oh. Okay. We got the matchup. <laughs> right, from the wiggly Manju to a, like a battle against explorers. That's just like, what kind of turn is this, right? <laughs> okay, I mean, good matchup for Rico and Roy. Like they have the type advantage, cause that, cause I'm pretty sure that Garganago is rock type, right? Yeah, so grass type like super effective. And of course, like going up against a Glalie, like a Freight Coco's Fire, can definitely have that type advantage. Quick attack, okay. It's it's a raw type. I think Magical Leaf would do better. Flamethrower, all right, not not Ember. A blizzard. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh. Salt. Salt pickling. You. Yeah. Gotta dodge it. Magical leaf. All right. That does something. Ooh. Oh, maybe high defense. Again? Wow, you really like to torture your uh, your opponent, huh? I mean, Free Coco, break the ice. You have your fire. Crunch? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Right, just melted it. Oh. <laughs> it's slippery. Yeah, you gotta work on your aim. Ice spinner. Oh, that's pretty powerful, I have to say. But I mean, it's ice type move. Ah, oh, dude, yeah, he's acting like uh, it's like a Beyblade. Come on, that's pretty. That's pr pretty sick. So pickling again.
Quick attack. Ooh, from the... Yo, going from the front. Right, going from the under, yeah. Magical Leaf, like, focus on one point. Oh, ooh, still not gonna work, still not working. Oh, ooh, close range. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, so pickling is gonna... Oh, wow. Okay, Sprigatito is like, just don't give up. Stone Edge. Careful. Oh. Oh, Magical Leaf. I was assuming that it could be like Leaf Storm or something, but wow. I mean, that should... Oh, Overgrowth again. Okay, adding the ability. That, yo, that doesn't really look like a magical leaf anymore. That's Leaf Storm. And plus Overgrow. Oh. Stomping Tetrum. Well, on the ice, so... Ah! Stop the movement! Oh! Are we gonna get like a double battle now? What are you guys gonna do? You're right. Oh, <laughs> oh you got calls. Oh, you guys are going. Top priority mission. Oh, summoning Rayquaza? Summoning? They have a way to summon? Oh, we're... Ah, uh, yeah, uh, grab her, grab her. Oh! He has an Aerodactyl! Onyx has an Aerodactyl, so he's good at rock, like rock type. Well, I mean, he is definitely a rock type. Wow, an Aerodactyl, huh? That is really rare. Okay, at least they re retreat, but yeah, they gave out information for the next like episode, right? Hmm. Uh, oh, over the sea. They might gonna go to the tower. Right, that tower. Yes. So you guys are going, right? Well, I hope free you don't get caught. Nice. We're gonna get some manju for healing. Mm. Right. But to be continued from the, to the last next episode, huh? Okay. I mean, it is a good fight, I guess, for this for this episode. But it seems that like the explorers are not like taking this seriously yet. You know, now that I think about it, like Sango has a uh, Glalie and uh, Onyx has the Aerodactyl. Are they gonna go mega? Like you know, just just saying, like maybe next year animation. Like since like Pokemon Legend uh, ZA is it's about to come. Are they going, are they, if they're still having the whole Pokemon Horizon anime, are they going to get Megastone? That's what I'm saying. 
oh my gosh, these episodes, those Pokemon, that, that can go mega. I'm just saying, it could be a possible, like they're just gonna tease us like or, or right now for it. So I, so I just really assume that maybe all the Explorers has a Pokemon that can go mega as well. I think the other, like the other admin who, who haven't been showing that much, he hasn't, she hasn't managed him, which can also go mega. I, I might be right. I, I'm just saying, I, I, like, I might be right. Maybe all the explorers like has a Pokemon that can go mega. Ah, I'm just really excited. <laughs> Let's go. But right now, next episode, it just gets me very curious. Because they have figured out a way to call on Rayquaza. It's definitely something related with that tower. It's like maybe you can send some signals that can call it out. So, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, and right now we're kind of getting like a mini arc before we're getting to like one of those like big arc, right? Ooh, armor, huh? Ah, the, the white part is armor. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely plotting something and all, it seems that all the admin are actually here. Well, except for uh, Amidio. But all the, uh, the others are here and Rayquaza finally sh sh showed up. Oh, Iono's here too. The plan to capture Rayquaza. Okay. Ooh, the preview got me very epic. It seems that like um, most of the admins are here. Like, I, I'm sorry, I forgot the uh, I forgot the name of that the mind control guy. But uh, yeah, we get Sungo, Onyx, and that guy, and also the admin that we haven't they haven't showed that much that has the Meta Champ. So all four of them are here, except for Amidio. We don't get to see that. And it seems that the Black and Rayquaza actually showed up for like, just because of their machine or something like that, right? So we're gonna get a battle. And it seems that Iono is also here as well. That is pretty cool. That's actually really cool. It's not from like a video that we are gonna see. Maybe she's here like in person. That could be fire though. I mean, we're in Paldea, so it's not that far. So it does make sense that we get to see these characters are just coming in in the episode. But okay, it's really cool. It gets me very excited. This will be my reaction to Pokemon Horizon episode 43. And yes, what an amazing episode. But first, yeah, Sango's attitude really needs to go. Like he, she is just like a whiny little girl, right? Like, you know, if she doesn't get what she wants, she's gonna go whine and try to blame from to, to like to others. Uh, you know, I kind of get, and you know, I kind of get that kind of attitude in day one of her uh, up, like appearance in the anime, right? Like she's definitely that kind of whiny girl. So uh, yeah, and the fight is pretty good. It's pretty good. We get to see uh, Rico and Roy definitely show some experience. And it, yeah, it's not like they got uh, defeated or something like that, but I guess the explorers are not taking it seriously. I'll approve that. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait until later on because, you know, due to the poster, oh my gosh, the poster is just everything, I swear. All right, here it is, here it is. This poster just looks amazing. I'm just gonna be putting it right here. I'm just gonna go up and down like that, but oh my gosh, I can go analyze this. So yeah, I think this uh, this arc will definitely be focused on like, you know, Rico, Roy, and Dot are studying in the, in the academy. So it seems that all of them has the Terrasto War. Yo, I swear to God, the principals are giving out all of those to their student. Thank you, the principal. Like, oh my gosh, everyone is just like, it's so good. And it seems that, yeah, like I said, all the Elite Four are there. And we get to see uh, 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 Brasilis, we get to see Iono, and also we get to see Grisha as well. Wow, this looks r like really cool. And and of course, uh, of course, Nimona is also there. What surprised me is that Rico has uh, a Fregato now. 
Oh, the Sprigatito actually evolved. That is just epic, dude. Oh my gosh, it's it has to be a, a big like power up. And you know, there's there could be a way that you know maybe Fregato won't obey Rico for for a while because it does seem seems to be like very it became very mature. So there could be a possible for for that to happen. And also, you know, it seems that like Rico is still wearing the still wearing the like the uniform from the from the Kanto region, which is the Indigo Academy like uniform but Rico uh, sorry but Roy and Dot are wearing the the academy uniform especially for Dot yo Dot Dot's like the uniform is it's the one that I was like wearing in the game so that was definitely my favorite outfit I think that's the winter outfit and and Roy is wearing the summer outfit but but anyways this looks really cool this is really cool just studying in the academy I think they're learning about how to terrestrialize their uh, Pokemon definitely a big Power up. and also we get to see other uh, Paldea uh, Pokemon as well. We get to see uh, Kapasa Kid. We get to see um, we got to see Grafiai as well. That looks cool. And of course, and positive Yo, does that mean that we're getting Arvin? That that could be fire. Like we get to see like the positive Cool, cool, cool. And also we get a we get, we get a Fido as well. Yo, maybe R Rico is gonna catch a Fido. That could be fire. Yeah, but what's important is like just these like new Pokemon are just showing up. And also I I did not miss that. I get to see uh I get I get to see a Gimme Ghoul there as well. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Ooh, and and also yo uh yeah we got we definitely got more. And especially like the gym leaders and the elite four are showing up, so they're definitely having some uh, interaction with them and just to try to get some experience and maybe some battles, right? So, cool, cool, cool. Just ah, uh, and also there are some characters that I forgot their names. Uh, I just want to apologize for it, but I'll be eventually getting them in the while during my reaction. Yeah, it's been a very long time since I have some interaction but but you know my favorite larry is there oh my gosh larry is there so that's just all i need oh my gosh what a dude all right all right very excited and uh yeah this is definitely a very good episode and let's just see what's gonna happen in the next episode because it's like very epic right so the rising vault hackers are once a, and once again going up against the explorers and um, yeah most of the admins are there so it's gonna be a struggle fight so cool cool Definitely very excited. Okay. Thanks guys for watching this video. Please leave a like and comment. You'll also see my channel and draw my live reaction. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much.